Good morning, everybody. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading on Monday morning, November. What time? What day is it? <laughs> what week is it? I don't, I don't know what the date is. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. But I want to show you. Um, remember those two little black cats that we rescued? Well, here's one. <laughs> and say hello. She's looking out the window. It's so hard to photograph black cats. But here, here she is. And you see her eyes tearing? Her eye wasn't tearing when I rescued her. This is what happens. The criminals spray something inside of the cat's building. And a lot of the cats have eye problems now. Miraculously, it just started to happen. Here's the other little girl. I don't know if you can you see hi say hello everybody can you see her I don't know if you could see her but I want to show you what the criminals did to my new screens here look I've got a hole here a hole here the window doesn't even go up that high I've got a hole here and no the cats didn't do it you've got a scrape over here right up here you can see that and I want to show you what they did over the weekends now, last summer, these criminals sliced my Chase Lounge that I brought from New Jersey, which was in perfect condition. And actually, this fabric is so incredibly strong, it has a lifetime warranty, okay? So they sliced it down the side. I duct taped it and stuff. Then they sliced it up here, and you can see what they've done all along here. But now overnight, because Sunday seems to be their, their, their day of glee, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but Sunday night in particular, they really do a lot of damage on Sunday nights. They did this overnight. So this is an evidentiary video. I'm gonna be doing another video, um, a little bit longer. Not sure when, it's going to be addressed to the incoming president. And ironically, ironically, I just have a low battery light. But this is how they asset strip you and cause your property to look disgusting and ugly, right? Because I'm selling my, my property and I will be selling. By 2025, my house, I'll be gone from here. I will be in another state and this property will sell and uh, I'll be filing multiple complaints um, with multiple people. And that's how I'm, all I'm gonna say about it. But here, this is what they did overnight chase lounge here this is what they did overnight and um they the military has corrosive technology so and the reason they have corrosive technology is because you know when they're underwater when they're out in the desert sand pits it pits metal and in water you know water you have to have it waterproof and non-corrosive so in order to invent corrosive proof technology, they have to first deliberately corrode and rust items so that they can then use their technology that they invented to prevent it from happening. So now with their corrosive technology, now they've done it to two of my lights. They did this early in their year, right before my house went listed for sale. Check it out. Hey girl, wanna say hi? Say hi? Say I'm cute. I'm just a cute girl. So yeah, so, the, and, and I have it on my other, my other light also, but check this out. We'll check out this chair. So you can see, this is fine, but that's not. It's all their corrosive technology that they deliberately rust anything. It doesn't matter if it's new. It doesn't matter if it's brand new, if it's old, it does not matter. They will deliberately rust it. Stainless steel, gold, copper, whatever it is, they will rust it. And they did it here too. So you can see that this is not, but this is. Right, they rusted. They deliberately rust the screws because it makes it look older and it, it's more difficult to remove the screws or nuts or bolts 
to replace them. And um, as you know, I mean, I showed you because these are Freemasons that are doing this. They like their half moons, crescent moons. So this is what they did. They deliberately cut this hole in the side of the cat's building. Right, right there. It didn't happen by itself. And then what they do is they go around to all the nails that are triple, quadruple painted by Amish people. And they bang on it to cause the paint to be removed and then they rust the nails and screws. So yes, yeah, so when I uh, do my video, I will create a video to the incoming president about what's been happening to me since New Jersey. I will demonstrate that these rogue people have employed the military and the military are just taking orders. And this is what I find all over the buildings. You wanna see that? So this is what I do. I don't kill it. I just say goodbye, bye bye. No, you can't hang on to me, goodbye. Yeah, so they place these large spiders all over all my buildings in the morning. Or overnight, I should say. I find them everywhere. And you can see what they did up here. I'm going to uh, zoom it in here. They created that hole up there that didn't exist. They made it. It's a man-made knot. They did the same thing here. That what they did is they scraped across the top here. across the top to cause black lines. You know, black lines matter. <laughs> Put all this dirt underneath the eaves here. You know, it makes it very difficult to clean. Very difficult to clean. And then I, I think I mentioned to you that they cut a hole in my underpin here and they stuck a rusted chain in here. This is what witches do. They did this here, this here that I covered. And mind you, I'm living here five and a half years and they did this to every one of my buildings. They cut a bigger hole in here that I had to, bigger hole. It wasn't like this. They cut a bigger hole in here. And you can see here that they, that the rusting technology, the rusting technology here. So this is rusted and this one is not. You see that? One is rusted, one is not. But the video that I posted um, this morning from TikTok, that was Michael Barden. Michael Barden is a targeted guy. I believe he's former military even. Um, he mentioned 2017. 2017 is when he entered the program, when he found out what was going on with him. And that was actually when I found out as well. I mean, I've been targeted since at least 2012, more likely 2009. But uh, Michael Barden was like one of the first people because he was very vocal as I was in 2017. So yeah, so he's, he's had it too. He's had being targeted too. Innocent people being targeted for profit. We're not gonna stay quiet anymore. We're not gonna stay quiet, we're gonna make some noise. We might even have to file another petition or, or get some signatures about investigating the FISA warrants, the criteria, who signs them, what judges sign them, how many people are on the watch list, how many secret folders are there, who's signing these warrants, who's performing the investigation, what, what is an unending investigation investigating somebody for 12 friggin' years? with no history of criminal activity, no drug use, 
I don't even drink soda. But as uh, Trump mentioned, targeting Christians, targeting people who speak out, targeting innocent people. He knows about it. Of course he knows about it because why? He was the most targeted person in this country for the last four years. They dragged him through court. They accused him of things. They wanted to imprison him. Exactly the same protocol that's used against us was used against him. The only difference is that he is a wealthy political businessman. He has alliances. His alliances are with Tulsi Gabbard, Kennedy, Elon Musk. He's got good, influential people protecting him and speaking up. The current one has a bunch of crooks. We still don't even know what's on that Hunter Biden's laptop or the Epstein files or the diddler guy, <laughs> the diddler, the diddler guy, right? I'm sure we're going to find out this, these next couple of years, but who cares about all that stuff? We want to know. And we're probably going to make some waves this year. And it's not only about the weapons. Some of which we can't prove, but of course he knows what's going on. What about the house break-ins? What about the thefts that the sheriff's department is not investigating, not photographing? What about whole counties warring against one person for profit? like redirecting water on the county road and dumping all that gravel down there, trespassing my property. Or how about the concrete that was poured there, right halfway to redirect water onto my property? Or how about all the holes that were dug on my property? Or how about the 50 holes that were drilled on the top of my mountain there. It's all deliberate. This whole town, Judge Gabbard, Ross Murray, the Sheriff's Department, the mayor, they're all in on it. If you want my property so bad, you could buy it. It's for sale. See all that rock there? Doesn't it look like a V? They completely dumped all that rock there. It serves no useful purpose, but it's trespassing my property. It totally destroyed the natural landscape by trespassing my property. And yes, I've written letters and letters about it and about the corrugated tube. You can't see it from here yet. There's a corrugated tube that they put underneath the county road with no rebar. There's no rebar under that county road that collapsed in 2023, I think it was. 21 or 23, I, uh, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. But when they rebuilt it, they put a corrugated tube pointing towards my property, redirecting the water. And that corrugated tube is throwing water on my trees that are now leaning. You can see my trees are leaning here. And I, I sent a letter about this corrugated tube throwing water onto my property in an attempt to flood it and knock down my trees and disable the landscape. No response. And somebody has been here. I see them. They come onto the property at night because they disturb the motion lights and you don't see anyone there. But the motion lights keeps going on and off, on and off, literally for a long time, just before my mailbox here, because somebody is there digging and using my light, triggering the light while they're cloaked to dig out a portion of my retaining wall. 
So yeah, I am documenting this. And you all, every one of you, Judge Gabbard, Ross Murray, uh, maybe I'm a little slow on it, but you'll all be getting notices about what you're doing to my property. So you can fess up, but you're going to be receiving cease and desist letters. That's right, you're all going to be receiving cease and desist letters from harassing me and threatening me with eminent domain, Ross Murray, you piece of crap. And I want my gate back. You know, my original gate, Ross Murray. I want my original gate back from Chris Bowles, who I paid $90 after the fully operable and erected gate when I moved here across the street was deliberately taken down and crushed into the ground. I couldn't remove it myself. So I hired my neighbor, Chris Bowles, paid him $90 and he took the gate and never gave it back and then has the audacity in a text message that said that the law told him that he can't return my gate unless I filed a civil suit. You're kidding me, I have to file a civil lawsuit to get back my property? Chris Bowles, you stole my gate, you're a thief. I also want my $90 back, thief, including my gate and also the two auto chassis that you stole from my property and didn't tell me. You didn't have permission. I've got no written contract with you, Chris Bowles. And Ross Murray, you're protecting all these criminals. Like the bullets that I found underneath my no trespassing sign that was torn down a couple of weeks ago. That's still, still there on the floor there. I'm keeping it there as evidence. It's got four bullet holes in it. I've got the bullets, or I had the bullets unless they stole them the shells and uh, nobody perform an investigation. Oh, but you want to perform an investigation after I give you proof that Scarlett Marks drove back and forth here four times photographing me, yelling at me. I didn't say one word to her or that they pulled up to my driveway throwing filthy toilet paper. Not only did they trespass, they littered. It's criminal mischief. And that somebody contacted my former realtor, Cassie Foley, to not sell my property. She just goes along to get along. How dare you, Cassie? Yeah, I'm calling you out, bitch. Contact me. I've got all your text messages. And I never did get that listing card that you said that you were going to send out to the community. Or the pink bows that you were going to put up on my property showing that they were for sale. You never did it. You did nothing. Zero. Cassie Foley from Century 21. Where are you, in Richmond, Kentucky? Cassie Foley. And any of you realtors out there that are deliberately not trying to sell my property, don't worry, maybe I'm a little slow in it, but when I say I'm gonna do something, I will report you to the realtor board. And Cassie, you're on my list to be reported to the realtor board. Just as Scarlett is still on the radar to be reported to the nursing board because I've got my complaint number. I just haven't finished yet because I've got too much to do here, but I'll get it all done. And these criminals keep throwing directed energy weapons at my skull. And for any stupid person out there, I can prove it. Yeah, I can prove it. Come over. You isolate the victim because you don't want anyone to photograph what's happening to them. You don't want anybody to see what you're doing to them physically. And I have of sound mind and I would never take my own life. I don't smoke, drink, or do drugs. I eat organic food. I take care of all this property and my animals. And when I move, yes, for the person who said, well, what are you going to do with your animals? I'm going to take them with me. Just the way I took 28 cats from New Jersey to here. And for the criminals that took down my Freya's Cat Rescue website two more times, 
F you. It'll be back up and running so that we can get to the no donations that we need for when we move, we need a vehicle and a driver to drive me. And I will pay that person. You could be a targeted person. If you've got a clean driving license, which, you know, what can I say? If you know how to drive a rig, like an RV, and don't mind being with a whole bunch of rescue animals or a horse, truck, contact me, alternativehomesteading at gmail.com. Yes, we'll be packing up all of my animals and we'll be getting the fuck out of here when my property sells. And it's going to sell in 2025. We'll be gone. And every one of my neighbor's names will be told to you, everyone. Every one of them. All you go along to get along, people try to bank off of me. Get a fucking job. Oh, and those aren't the only ones. And then there's the, the Jezebel who lives diagonally across. We'll get to her another time. That's a whole nother story. You know, the honey pot that they send? The animal lover honey pot that gaslights you, loans you something, right? And I was smart then. She loaned me a feeder after she gave me two chickens, my first chickens. Love my chickens. And um, I photographed it when I received it. Because I knew that the criminals would do something to it, and they did, they damaged it. So I photographed it afterwards, and I sent her the, the damage to it, and I apologized. I said, you know, I'll buy you a new one. She said, oh no, don't you remember I told you that it was damaged? No, bitch. It wasn't damaged. I have the photo of it when you got, gave it to me. It was perfect. Don't try to gaslight me, Jezebel. So anyway, I'm going to get off my Monday morning rant. This is what it looks like here today. The sky is blue. But we did have a lot of rain. Well, not well, a lot compared to what we've had. We've we've had literally no rain. So we had a a good amount of rain, you know, enough for a soaking like if I had anything growing, now it would have been enough to sustain um the growth of some new vegetation and stuff. What's the matter, big boy? So now he's here, and he, he this is what roosters do sometimes. So I've got hens in here laying eggs. And he, he thinks, this is chirp, he thinks that he's helping the girls. He thinks he's helping them lay eggs by standing outside and chirping like that. He's like announcing... I'm here, I'm protecting you while you lay your eggs. <laughs> so, this is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading on Monday. There goes a little friggin' criminal, that one. The black SUV. But I'm gonna sign off for now. I hope everybody's doing well. And for, thank you again for everybody who was in the live chat. The live chat is there, it's over two hours long. Uh, they too decided to not monetize it, um, so I ask for a real review, and this is what happens. This is why I don't want to go over too long in the uh, the lives. I don't mind, but invariably somebody will say a word or get on a topic that I know is going to be banned. And I, I really I I love doing the lives and stuff, but I can't have them demonetized after spending two hours. <laughs> um, so. Um, so that's, that's the deal there. Please remember to hit the thumbs up on my videos. Um, a lot of people have told me that they're hitting the, the thumbs up and, and YouTube is not counting them. And as soon as my videos go up, I automatically have bots or somebody downvoting them to like 60 and 50%. If they didn't even have time to listen to the video and it's already downvoted. 
So please remember to do that. I, I hope everybody's doing well today. And um, I'm going to talk to you guys soon.